so many faces come in and out and I don't take attendance. <laughs> so it's like, they're just new faces all the time. Yeah. Uh, hi, I'm Jada. I'm a student partner here at Steely, and I'm here with William and Mary Professor Dr. Jerry Watkins. Hi, I'm uh, yeah, Jay Watkins in the History Department. Okay, uh, my first question, Jay, uh, do you recognize my face at all? Yes, whatsoever? vaguely. I, I, I do <laughs> recognize your face as having been, in, having been in class one day. Okay, so what if I told you that I actually came to your class with another student on October 26th? Would you believe me? Sure. Would you believe me if I said I had been a few times? Yes. <laughs> so from that answer, I would assume you have a pretty flexible attendance policy. I do. I have a very flexible attendance policy. And, you know, during during COVID, it became very clear that sometimes it's more important to let students make their decisions than have to panic about sending me an email and disclosing all kinds of things. And so I during COVID, I I gave that power back to students. I, and I say at the very beginning of class, I'm like, I trust that you will show up as often as you can. And I also trust that you are responsible enough to not come when you're sick or when you're just having stuff. Because, you know, as much as I, I would love for you to be there every day, I recognize that sometimes life just kind of happens. And mm -hmm. so, yeah, I, I, it's kind of free flowing and new faces show up all the time. Yeah, that's great. I think that COVID for a lot of uh, professors made them readjust and reconfigure what they feel is a good class and what they think the students need the best. So I'm wondering now, because of that flexible attendance policy, how do you structure your class so that those students that are missing out because they're sick or for other personal reasons, how do you structure it so that those students can get the full experience of your class? So I record all of my lectures. I, I try to teach Monday, Wednesday, Friday which I found for me is a really good way to Monday, Tuesday, or Monday, Wednesday lecture. And then on Fridays, we tend to do more activity things or we discuss whatever the article is of the week or you know, kind of smaller group work, but always Monday, Tuesdays recorded and posted on Blackboard. Um, that way students that miss those days can watch it, you know, kind of at their leisure. And then the Friday material, um, Sometimes students will come in and talk through the material. Other times they will discuss it with students. Sometimes they just don't. Mm -hmm. So what I'm hearing is Friday is there's no new material. It's really just digesting and yeah. being able to converse with other students. Yeah, Fridays is, is the time for us to, you know, I call it learning by doing. You know, so it's Monday, Monday, Wednesday, I'm kind of giving lecture, you know, some context to whatever the reading or, you know, however I've structured it that week. And then on, on Friday, yeah, we are just talking together and trying to learn through the material because what I found over the years is that students coming from so many different places have really interesting ways of reading material that, you know, at the beginning of the semester, I, I have an idea of what I want to teach that week, uh, but students oftentimes shock me in you know the really interesting ways they engage with material, and so Fridays for me are a really kind of special time that we get to learn together, and that we get to kind of do this stuff in a more hands-on way that isn't me just giving information. Mm. I love that for you. That sounds, I love the whole philosophy of not just the professor teaching students, but also the teachers, the students teaching professors. I, I, I tell my students, I, like, I learn so much from my students every year that, you know, I, I'm, one of the things I love most about he, here particularly is, you know, the students have a habit of engaging. And so, you know, they, I, I learn a lot from students every semester and I try to foster ways that we can also learn from each other Definitely. So you teach sex in America. Right? That's one of my classes. Yes, yeah. one of your classes. Very popular here on campus. Very difficult to get into, I hear. Almost as much as my Queer South class. <laughs> yes, you fill up quick. You definitely do. Registration was sad for a lot of people, but I'm sure it was a happy day for you getting to be able to meet all these new students.